<laughs> Hi, this is Dave. I can't believe this. You know, one of the things I absolutely love about doing this ministry is you meet a lot of people all over the world. I've met people who were Mennonites to Catholic, from Rush people who were actually Muslim. And, um, and I, I just enjoy it. But today I've had a heartfelt experience with many of these that I found out that I actually thought were, were LDS girls and, and a man here, um, but uh, believe it or not, they, they are true believers of the Lord Jesus Christ and they love him, I could tell that, because they came down here and they're doing ministry work for, for themselves to t teach people about Jesus, to preach Jesus, and I just adore that. So one of the things I, I do want to just share a couple things. You're from all from uh, East, Eastern Washington, right? Yeah. All from Eastern Washington. Tell your name. Tell you why. Tell tell the viewers why you're here and why you love the Lord so much. Um, well, I'm Katie, and I'm here to just kind of like spread the love of God. Like I don't want anyone not to know about it. Like if I go a day where I had the chance to teach someone about the love that He's shown me and the healing He's had in my life and I can share that with another person, that's ultimately the goal. And I just kind of want to grow in myself and like have God work on me while working through me. Praise God. Thank you so much. And you, what's your I'm name? Abby. Um, I'm down here just to share the love of Jesus and kind of show people their um, Jesus' heart and you know what he's about and just to love on people and um, spread the word. Great. So. Um, and I'm Sarah. and. Just to, similar to Abby, just to, to love on people and to share the gospel and uh, spread the good news. Yeah, good. That's it. <laughs> I'm Hannah, and the Lord has changed my life so much. Um, How has He changed it? Gosh, in every way. I don't know. I've never experienced the peace and love that I have except through Jesus Christ. So I feel like, um, how could I not share that with people? Okay. Has it anything to do with the church at all? Or no. is, it, is it just solely with Jesus and, and understanding Him and having that relationship with Him? I think the church is a beautiful thing in the sense of community because yeah. the church can lift you up in hard times and um, pull you through, but it's not through the church that I'm saved, it's through Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't matter what church you go to, right? No. To get saved. Nope, it's your heart. Okay, praise God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Colby and I'm just here to tell people about the grace of God and that you know it doesn't really matter what they do as long as they got God on their side, they're saved and He's got a place for them up in heaven. Praise God. I'm Molly. Um, just sharing my relationship with God with others and um, trying to teach others um, just about God and how to have a relationship with Him as well. Yeah, perfect. And how do they have a relationship with Him though? Um, basically by realizing that we're all sinful and um, regardless of that, He has died for us. And so, um, yeah, He saved us from our sins. And so, Praise God. Yeah. Hey, you, I just want to say something. If you notice this, what they're all saying, they're talking about God, but they're while they're talking about God, who are you viewing in mind? Jesus. Jesus. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. I'm Jocelyn, and I just want to be able to tell people about God and who He is and even like how He's changed my life and to be able to share that. And I think what Katie said is really true of like, I don't want to go another day of like not telling someone about something that I know and how exciting it is and how it's changed my life. So Awesome. Awesome. I'm Kennedy, and I think these girls have just summed it up perfectly. I think just what God has done in my life has been remarkable, and knowing that I don't have to do anything to earn um, His love and grace, and I can just be myself and realize that I am sinful, and I get it all for, for knowing that. So, Great. Yes. And now let me ask you a question. By, by knowing that, um, you know, there are a lot of people say, well, hold on. I mean, yeah, we know that we're all sinful, right? We, we, we are a part of sin, but we have Jesus who purified us with his blood to what? Heal us from sin. So now we are not, no longer alienated from God because yeah. he's like our proxy. Yeah. He purchased us, right? Yeah. So when you look at that, I mean, do you feel like, well, do you do now works of what? What do you do? And why do you do? What's your intent? What's, what's the reason why you do what you do? Wow, I think, um, gosh, I just think that Jesus does bridge that gap. So you don't have to, it's not works based any, yeah. you know, it's, you don't have to feel like it's works based. You can just accept that um, Jesus is that bridging that gap. And so that's how you have a relationship with God is through Christ. Praise God. Praise God. Hi, I'm McKenna, and I feel like God sent me here so that I could spread the word of Him and strengthen my relationship with Him at the same time. Yeah. yeah. And, you, and you know, I love to see this too because, you know, you got to get some more of your brother dudes. We're your, we need some. Oh, they're here? All right. 
Right, we need some more guys here, some brothers in Christ. That's what we're all about, right? We got to equalize this, not just have all these beautiful sisters in Christ, but have brothers in Christ. It's just so, a ladies' organization. <laughs> and I'm sure that you guys are not here just because you have beautiful sisters in Christ, but you really have a heart for the Lord, right? It's, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Well, listen. Hey, we had a we had a great experience with all the, all them sharing their views. I hope this helps you realize, even with LDS people, that you get to see that the body of Christ is in action every day, and they're doing ministry work because they do it for their own heart, and and it's not conditional at all. They do it because they love Him and they praise Him and they worship, and they're wonderful. Look how young they are. They're beautiful. The body of Christ in action. Thank you for being a part of this experience, guys. Praise you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks.